Good afternoon, ladles and jelly spoons. Good afternoon. My name is Taffy Thomas, and I've got the best job in the world, because my job is telling stories. Stories, tales, and elaborate lies. And most of the other people who do that are in Parliament. And sadly, that is true. Every day, I travel from my home here in Grasmere to somewhere where people want to hear stories. Some days I'm in a school, some days I'm in a library, some days I'm even in a pub. Now I tell you, I'm a storyteller, and that's true, but I used to be a fire eater. I used to be a fisherman. I used to be an escapologist. In fact, you could fill a very large bucket with things I used to be. At the age of 36, I suffered a massive stroke. I lost my speech and a fair bit of the left side of my body. For 16 years, I've been some kind of a clown acrobat. But now suddenly, I couldn't sing, I couldn't dance, I couldn't even clap my hands. The crowd passed to the other side of the street and I was alone in the dark. <laughs> they told me I had to do something more sensible than fire eating. So I used storytelling to learn to speak again and created the beautiful piece of textile art that is my tail coat and pork pie hat. When I put this on, I become a jukebox because every picture on the coat is one of the stories in my head. So members of the audience can come out and pick the next tale to help to create the show. So a big clap for Jesse. Come on, lean to your feet. Come out, I'll do a little, I'll do, I'll do a little spin so you can decide which story you'd like. Now for 500 years, there's been a poet laureate. For 10 years, there's been a children's laureate. And earlier in 2010, a group of poets decided there should be a laureate for storytelling. And I was honored that they invited me. And I'm the first ever laureate for storytelling. So really the role to be a spokesperson for storytelling, to help to find a new audience for storytelling, an ancient art that was in danger of possibly dying out. Because if speaking was more important than listening, we'd have two tongues and one ear. Yeah.